Hi, and welcome back to another one of my streaming setup videos. This one is for April 2019. And in particular, I'm trying to show you how I do streaming from an Xbox One X to a MacBook Pro. Uh, and in this case, we're going into OBS. And I've got some new hardware. I've improved my stream. And so here's what I was trying to do to get to this desired solution here. Um, whoops, not that desired solution. Let's go, <laughs> go here. Um, so here's what I'm trying to get to is uh, the best you can get on, on Twitch right now is uh, 1080p, 60 frames per second. Uh, what I'm looking for is something that's inexpensive, relatively inexpensive. There's, you know, if it's 500 bucks, it's too expensive, <laughs> is how I put it. Uh, I want to play the game and see it on my t TV in full 4K HDR. That's important. If I paid for that, I want to see it while I'm playing. Um, it needs to be Mac OS friendly. That's sometimes hard to find. <laughs> And I wanted it to show up as a native video capture device in OBS. So I'm not doing window capture or display capture. If you have the Elgato HD60S, that's what you're forced to do because it doesn't show up as a native source, a native video capture device in OBS. And according to Elgato, Macs are hard. Okay, whatever. I, you know, I don't buy that at all. And finally, I wanted to be able to stream at 1080p, 60 frames per second. This is what I ended up settling on right now. And I say settling because... Um, the hardware that I picked up does allow my desired solution, but the hardware I currently have does not. And uh, we'll get into that in a second. So basically what I'm doing right now is I'm streaming at 720p, 30 frames per second, um, which is not 1080p, 60, but it still looks pretty darn good. And I checked off all the other boxes. Inexpensive, gameplay in full 4K HDR on the TV, Mac OS friendly, and it shows up as a native video capture device in OBS. So let me show you uh, some of the other things that I've been looking at. If you've seen any of my other videos, you kind of know where I've come from on this journey here. Um, based on the stuff that I want to be able to do, the Elgato HD60S doesn't show up as a video capture device. Uh, you have to use window or display capture, so that immediately is terrible. Um, game in 4K HDR. No, you can't do that on the Elgato HD60S. I got to turn off HDR in order for it to work. Um, 1080p 60 frames per second. Yes, it can do that. Um, but uh, stream quality, again, four out of five. It's on the pricier side, 170. Uh, I tried out this device, the Blackmagic Ultra Studio Mini Recorder. Now, it did show up as a native capture device in OBS. I could not game in 4K HDR. I could not do 1080p 60 frames per second. It does as the most it does is 1080i, <laughs> and that's interlaced, not progressive frames. So I was like, ah, that sucks. To get 1080p 60 frames per second, you got to buy their next uh, iteration up, which goes to a $500 thing. So it immediately kicks it off. And because of the force to go to a, a lower resolution, the stream quality is also lower. Uh, I have to actually run my television at 720p in order for this thing to recognize so that sucks and 145 bucks eh, the price is okay but um you know just was very disappointed in this product um and another video i did was for one cast which is a uh, essentially streaming um streaming your xbox to your mac over a wi-fi so you can uh you know or your ethernet network if you have that uh, so that you can uh, pick it up as a window, essentially, in um, in OBS. So, again, it's not a native uh, video capture device in OBS, so it gets a no there. You have to do window capture. Uh, but I was able to game in 4K HDR, so that's good. Uh, could not do 1080p 60 frames per second. The software just couldn't handle it. Uh, stream quality, therefore, was about a 2 out of 5. I was able to make it look okay, and for a free trial or 20 bucks if you purchase it, that might be okay for some people, depending on what kind of games you play. If you play games like Hearthstone or something that doesn't really, you know, have a lot of action going on on the screen, uh, you might be able to get away with this and uh, be very cost effective. But if you play games that are, you know, first person shooters and, you know, Call of Duty type of stuff, uh, you're going to probably be disappointed in the quality of the stream for that. So here's the hardware that I ended up checking out and going with. It's the Avermedia Live Gamer Portable 2 Plus. And um, it does uh, uh, show up as a native video capture device in OBS on a Mac. So apparently uh, Elgato says it's hard. Avermedia says, no problem, we did it. <laughs> so I can game in 4K HDR, yes. 
However, I need to use an HDMI splitter. We'll get into that in a second. Um, this device will be able to do 1080p 60 frames per second. However, I need a faster Mac. Screen quality is great. I think it's fantastic quality, and the price is right there, 150. That's in my my wheelhouse. Let me show you what I mean by needing a faster Mac, because you know I've wanted to be able to do this 1080p 60 frames per second, but uh, this is what I, I ran into. These are my current specs on my Mac. This is Avermedia's website and showing what they're looking for in the specs. So I'm just shy of it here. I have a, a circa 2013 uh, 15 inch power or MacBook Pro. Uh, it's got a 2.3 gigahertz Intel Core i7, so a single core basically. They're looking for uh, a 2.8 gigahertz quad core Intel Core i5 or better. And then this asterisk down here, when recording and streaming 1080p or 60 frames per second and using picture in picture mode, that's when I stick my camera overlay over the, the video. Um, we strongly recommend using Intel Core i7 quad core with at least, uh, you know, they recommend 12 gigabytes of RAM. So I've got plenty of RAM here. I just don't have enough horsepower in my, my chipset in order to pull this off. So what I did is dialed it back and it works just great. Uh, so I, again, I dialed it back to 720p, 30 frames per second, and it looks fantastic. So my streams that you're seeing today, those are the settings that I'm using. Um, so why a splitter? This is uh, Avermedia's suggested hookup here, taking your game console, um, coming out of uh, your game console into this splitter, going up to here to 4K on your TV, and then going out here to your um, uh, computer and the software that you're using here. Unfortunately, the 4K pass-through on this device does not support HDR. And the other thing is if I'm on my Xbox, there's a thing in the display options that shows uh, all your video uh, settings. And uh, in particular, if you're using 4K, it's got like a little checkbox thing that checks off all the 4K features on your TV and whether or not you're actually getting them or using them or not. And what you want is all that to be green. Well, unfortunately, you know, when you go through and use it this way, use this configuration, it turns off a lot of the 4K features and, you know, it doesn't have HDR. So that was kind of a non-starter for me. So my solution on this was to go through and use an HDMI splitter. The one I'm using is a GoFanco Pro HD Split 2P. Um, but what's good about that is I can come straight out of the Xbox and into this splitter and out of the splitter and up to my TV and I still retain the HDR uh, capability coming out of the splitter and going into the Avermedia product, it uh, you know does it at 1080p, 60 frames per second, which is the max that this thing can ha handle anyway, which is great. Uh, and the price is right, $55.99 on Amazon. So I recommend that one. Um, just so that you know, here are the settings that I'm, I'm using on my uh, OBS. I'll bring them across here. So on OBS, uh, for my stream, oops, for my output, I am uh, using the output here, just saying uh, 1280 by 720, constant bit rate of 4,500, uh, keyframe interval every two seconds, uh, using very fast uh, CPU usage preset, main profile, and everything else just remains the same. For video, again, my base canvas resolution, 1280 by 720, my output 1280 by 720, and my frames per second is 30. Um, that is in line with, uh, let me pull up the, oh, I don't think I can do that here. When you pull up the Avermedia um, device uh, under properties, you can then say, okay, you know, do 1280 by 720, 30 frames per second, and it'll work just fine. Here's the detail. Uh, again, I put these in my videos just so you see every single bit of hardware that I'm using. Um, here's my Xbox. I'm using uh, the Plantronics headphones. I'm going into the splitter. My switch settings on the splitter, it has these dip switches on the front. They're all set to the up position. So one, two, three, four uh, switches are set to the up position, uh, which lets me have the highest quality 4K coming out of the splitter to my television. And it also automatically figures out to go 1080p, 60 frames per second into my capture card here. From this, plugging into a USB hub. Here's my Logitech webcam. I'm using a mixing board here for audio. Uh, so I've got uh, you know, a head headset here that I can listen to my mix, or I've got the Heil P PR40 here for my voice. Going out into the hub again, into the USB on the Mac, running uh, OBS, and then I'm using Restream.io to go to YouTube, Twitch, and Mixer simultaneously. 
So that's my full setup. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to throw them in the comments below. And if you want to see some of the results from this setup, um, you can come check me out on YouTube, Twitch, or Mixer and uh, see what that what the quality looks like. It's Like I said, it's 720p, 30 frames per second, so it's not the highest of the highest quality, but it's pretty darn good for this old in the tooth uh, <laughs> MacBook that I've got. Like I said, it's circa 2013. I am due for a new laptop. So when I get one, then I'll crank everything up to 1080p 60, knowing that this hardware can handle it. All right. Well, that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching and uh, good luck out there.